Hello, Driving Intelligence Community. I'm driving home. You can see Abe in the background. We just left his grandparents. And uh, I got a bit of a drive, so I thought I'd uh, start recording a video about uh, gear changes in this F-150. In my past videos, I showed that I put uh, some oversized wheels. Not necessarily diameter, but I put some 2009 uh, Lariat wheels, 20 by eight and a half. And these suckers are heavy. Um, and then I put uh, 275, 55, 20 tires on it. So it's really uh, dragged this truck down a bit. I had 265, 75, uh, 16 tires on it. And uh, it had so much more pep and go, get up and go. Uh, but I'm uh, thinking about re-gearing it. I was thinking about that before, but this really confirmed it. I'm running on 355 gears, done a lot of research. I don't think 373s are enough of a difference to really get me to make a change strongly considering 410 gears in the rear end anyway I'm going to explain to you why I feel this way and uh, maybe I can get some comments from a lot of you if any of you have done gear changes in the past um, going for 355 373 is a waste of money and time I think and uh, but let's get into it Here you can see I'm measuring different engine parameters and that top left percentage is engine load. And that engine load gets pretty high. As I go up moderate hills now with the air conditioning on the truck downshifts, which in itself is not a problem, but it didn't used to do that. And it really struggles pulling my 3,500 pound boat trailer combination. Well, I say it struggles, but it struggles to me. It's, it's, I just want more get up and go. And I also think these heavier wheels and tires have affected uh, gas mileage. My vacuum doesn't run as high as it used to at highway speeds. A couple inches of, vac of mercury off. Um, and I'm turning uh, about the same RPM as I was with the smaller tires. I've done some calculations and it looks like with 410 gears, I would pick up about, uh, about 400 RPM at uh, 75, 80 miles per hour. And I don't believe that's gonna cause me a big issue with fuel economy. Interrupting myself a second, I did do a calculation to determine what the RPMs are at different highway speeds with my truck. Uh, you can see I had OEM tires on there. They're much smaller. And you can see I was turning fairly high RPMs at 80 miles per hour, even with the OEM tires. Uh, so that was designed into it from Ford. You can see if I go 410s, I'm only turning about 120 RPMs more than I would with the OEM tires. And uh, with my current setup, I'd be turning about 330 RPMs more. So it's not a significant difference. I will see a reduction in engine load and I will see a reduction in the amount of throttle I have to input to uh, either accelerate or keep the truck moving. So uh, this is why I think I will not only maintain fuel economy, but I will probably increase it a bit, especially since I've added the heavier Lariat wheels. My plan is to find a junkyard axle on an F-150. It's 9.75 inch like my current axle. Uh, I want it to have a limited slip. My current 355 does not have limited slip. I don't care if I find a 355 or 373 because I plan on rebuilding the axle out of the vehicle, putting 410 gears in it and uh, rebuilding the limited slip and then installing it, swapping it out in my vehicle, just getting the 355 out of there. And uh, hopefully that makes a big difference. Given I've got a four x four, I gotta find an 8.8 .8 inch front uh, to rebuild or rebuild my own with 410s. But I wanna see how it runs uh, before I go ahead and do that axle swap in the front. So again, I'm, uh, I'm interested in what you've got to say about it. I'm, what I'm really concerned about, I know I'll get better power, but have you noticed a huge reduction in fuel economy? Uh, what I've heard in forums out there is that you get better city fuel economy with these gears, but you don't necessarily get better highway economy. But I still feel like with high engine loads, right now I'm running 60, 9% engine load and I'm going relatively flat. I figure if I lower the engine load slightly with a, uh, a shorter gear, 
should put less stretch on the engine and I get better fuel economy. Oh, one other thing. I, when I do plan on rebuilding my engine, I'm going to put a uh, slightly changed uh, torque converter with a uh, higher stall. Only a few 300 RPM higher stall allow the vehicle to get into its power band a little bit more quickly. And uh, um, that should loosen it up a bit, get better city and uh, towing fuel economy. But I'm gonna, it's going to be a combination of a higher stall torque converter for towing and for 10 gears. So again, please leave me comments below. Please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of these uh, discussions in the future. And please give me that thumbs up. Thanks for watching Driving Intelligence.